Well, 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 if it isn't me forgetting to record an intro. On today's episode of Watch JRGO, we are here with my 2004 Pontiac Aztec, and today we're gonna pitch a tent. What is going on guys? I am Watch JRGO, and like I said today, we are going to set up the factory tent in my 2004 Pontiac Aztec on whatever you would call it, possibly the greatest or at least the original factory overlanding rig. I don't know. Your words, not mine. So we've got some cool stuff here today. Let's get right to work putting the interior back together and setting up a tent. Here is where we are at on the Aztec. That's the center console. It's about time for that to go back together, but I'm waiting on one part that has to go in the center console. Unfortunately, it's that shift interlock solenoid. And if I put the sides on, it's gonna be a pain to change it. So I'm waiting on the sides, but I can put that part back in the uh, cooler holder and we can put all the trim back in. You can see all the passenger side trim is already back in. Everything snapped on. The car smells great now, which is a massive improvement. It honestly has no smell, which is how cars are supposed to be other than maybe leather. Um, putting all the rest of the trim back in place, we are ready to put the back seats back in place and put that back panel back on. Clean the seats, which have gone from these terrible, terrible looking things that we pulled out to something that you probably wouldn't be worried about sitting on at all. In fact, I think they look as good as they're ever going to look again. Uh, and we're ready to snap those back seats back in place. Of course, over here, everything's ready for the passenger seat to go back in, but I should probably wait until the center console is together. For the first time ever, I'm not worried about sitting in the Aztec. And in fact, these seats are pretty comfy. Remind me not to tackle projects this bad again. Honestly, it was just because it was the cheapest one. And another like 500 bucks could have got me one that didn't need the interior cleaned at all. Ah, the Aztec cooler goes in. There we go. Once you lock the handle in, it locks the cooler in and it becomes a center console with a CD holder, change holder, storage, everything. So cool. Anyway, the day I bought the Aztec, I also bought the Aztec tent, knowing that a day would come when we got to set up the tent on the Aztec. So today we're gonna pull it out and set up the tent. We are just about to the finish line on my Pontiac Aztec rebuild. And I know you're looking at this thing right now thinking, man, I missed my chance to invest in Aztecs, but you haven't missed your chance to invest with the sponsor of today's video, Acorns. Are you actively trying to save money for the future? If not, what's stopping you? Maybe like most, you don't have a lot of spare cash to invest. Well, Acorns is a financial wellness app that makes it easy to save and invest every day in the background of life, starting with just your spare change. No expertise required. Get set up with Acorns in under three minutes and begin investing with as little as $5. The app will automatically invest the spare change from your purchases through roundups. Every purchase you make is rounded up and the spare change is automatically invested into a managed portfolio. You won't even notice it and over time it can really grow. Depending on your needs, Acorns will recommend an investment plan for you from their five diversified, expert-built ETF portfolios. It's super convenient and easy to set up recurring investments from as low as $5 a day or week or month. So download Acorns and start investing with just your spare change. You can get a $10 bonus investment if you sign up for an account using my link. Terms and conditions may apply. Also the link. It's on screen. Huge thank you to Acorns for sponsoring today's video and being a continued supporter of automotive creators like me. Now, let's get back to the Aztec. Step one of installing your Aztec tent. Probably have seats, you know, that's probably on the list, but we'll get to that later. Pull your Aztec out into a big empty area where you can set up a tent. This thing is so cool. When it's in this tailgate mode, it's got these seats for you cup holders here. The side of the car is not out of reach so you can sit back and just enjoy yourself. I think the tent is supposed to stow right here because it has this compartment that's about the size of tent rods. Of course, we've got the air compressor back there, air hose in there, uh, inflator mode and the suspension pump, 12 volt power right there. And on the other side, tons of storage in the jack. So let's dig out the tent. Heading into the lev rack here. This has been in here for a while, Aztec tent. This is the comprehensive guide to setting up your Aztec tent done by a guy who has no idea how to set up an Aztec tent. 
and has uh, never set one up before. Now I do want to note this tent cost quite a bit of money. I think I paid, I don't know, 300 something dollars for it. Uh, it had to be done because you all need to experience how awesome the Aztec is. It is here. This is the special Aztec air mattress that goes in the back. That is awesome. All right, here's the tent again. Huge thank you to Acorns for sponsoring today's video, like I said before, uh, because without them, we wouldn't be going wild with this. But that is the Aztec tent. You can see the logo. Here is a spare cooler. Let's see if there's anything in it. What? What is all this? <laughs> the cargo nets here. Uh, some weird storage, like a, what is, is this the Aztec messenger bag? Is that what this is? This is the most stylish accessory of 2020 right here. This has got to be like having a Supreme bag. Look, it's got Aztec embossed in it. Ooh, I'm ready to take on the world, guys. Yeah. Put my Milwaukee stuff in here and just walk around ready to... 10, got a 10 on the impact. All right, back to the tent. Let's open this thing up. Have you guys ever seen an Aztec tent set up in the last... 20 years. Like these things are rare. Tent sticks. They definitely look like they go in the bag or uh, tent rods. Tent repair kit. A tent repair kit with a funnel and the patches. What else we got here? Stakes. Stakes in a bag. Tie downs. Uh, I would assume these are outrigger ties to the stakes. Trailer hitch pen, maybe. What do we have here? License plate, front license plate attachment package. This is crazy. This is somebody's entire Aztec in this box. I can't believe I got it for such a good deal. Here we go. It's time. It'd be cool if I had like a book, but it's just a tent. I mean, I've set up a tent before. How hard can it be? Carbon fiber looking rods. These are clearly fiberglass, but how cool is that? They're the elastic style tent rods. Oh, it's just one giant tent rod. There we go. A blue Aztec logo. I think the big round opening is the back. And I know it goes over the top of this from the pictures. So, go! I think the big window's the back. Almost to the end. I'm gonna guess the middle. Yeah. Something like that. We gotta pull a lot of this up in here. Let's see. Pretty far. We've got these elastic straps that need to come all the way down here. Temporarily, I'm just gonna hook it right there. There's another elastic hanger up here. Open this door. There we go. It's starting to look very tentish. Pull this in. Little hook. All right, now I can actually pull this down. It's starting to look like a tent. Pull this down, pull this down. This is the tailgate side of the tent. All right. All right, any day now. Let me get this stretched in here. All these hooks will hook to the tent poles. Stretch this thing out so it's adding all that extra capacity inside the Aztec. Well, we're just about there, but I'm definitely missing a little something something. I do want to open the door though. It's a tent! Hey, that is cool! I need to rotate the tent over just like a little bit there, but 
Uh, it's really, really close. You can see those hooks. That hook there goes down in that hole back behind the wheel right there. That's where that metal hook's supposed to go. So we can get that a little bit more taut, but I think it looks super cool. Check that out. A car with a factory tent. How sweet is that design? Yeah, I'm definitely off center a little bit. The Aztec logo needs to come a little bit more towards the passenger side, but let's throw the air mattress in. Now I'm gonna save us all some time here and just air this air mattress up with the air compressor. Uh, it's definitely better that way, so here we go. And welcome to MTV Cribs. This is my home. I hope you guys enjoy this tour. Come inside. Take your shoes off, take your shoes off. Anyway, this is where the magic happens. That's the end of the tour. Get out of here, MTV. Check it out, this drivable house. The dome light illuminates perfectly this entire area. Uh, you can sit back here, watch the sunset whatever you want to do while you're camping. you got your cooler built into the car so it's always ready to go. You've got windows that unzip right here. You need some ventilation at night. Uh, oh yeah, here they are. The windows can unzip and stow if you need to keep an eye on your GTR. What a cool tent. I just love this thing. I hope you guys love it too. It's so cool. Honestly, I think one of the best features is this built-in air mattress goes right to the edge of the tailgate and the tailgate has that slope for the seats. That becomes your pillow and it has a natural slope so you're sleeping correctly. You sleep with your head, you know, this way and I mean, you could honestly do it without a pillow. It has the right slope and everything like that. Just bring some blankets with you or a sleeping bag and you're good to go. So I'm gonna tear this down, pack it back up and the next time we see it, I'm taking this thing camping. Now I can stand to be inside it. It's honestly really clean. I think we got it knocked out. Whoa, is that what I think it is? When I got out, I heard a, I think that's a built-in pump and you push on it and it airs up the mattress. That's wild. I'm pretty sure that's a self-inflating air mattress. I mean, if you push over here, nothing. Push over here, sure sounds like it's airing up the air mattress. How cool is that? What a cool old car. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjrgo.com where you can find cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Tent pitched. And there you go. If you ever need to set up your own Aztec tent, that's about how it works. Also, if I sell it, I'll probably send the tent with it. So uh, it should add quite a bit of value because that tent's rare and the next person can use it too.